hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project uh, luggage tracking system and uh, i have developed this project on aws serverless technology this is a pure cloud based application and i have used aws uh, based services for developing this project so let me explain you that what technologies i have used for developing the apis for developing the front end right so uh, for uh, for back end api development i have used uh, python right so i all of the api we have developed in python right so database i am using the dynamo db and the for front end development i am using the angular so angular it's a front end technology right so from which you can uh, develop the web application and the back end has been developed in python and for that deployment of those python scripts i have used the lambda function right so for aws services i have used the lambda lambda for creating api for deploying api for uh, database i am using the dynamo db and for creating the api endpoint url i have used the api gateway right for deployment i have used the serverless framework means using the serverless framework you can deploy your application the api gateway serverless application on the aws from your local system right so these technology stacks i have used for developing this project right so this is a pure aws cloud based serverless application where i have used api gateway lambda functions s3 buckets and many more things for developing this project right so let's start with the functionality go through right so this is the home page of the project and before uh, showing the internal functionality let me show you the code base some right so this is the code base here you can say this is the angular front end all of the front end uh, ui and all of the front end uh, forms and functionalities have been developed in this angular right so this is the app and these are the components i have developed in the angular this is a python api here you can see i have developed three apis this is a product api this is a tracking api this is a user api so there are these three apis i have developed right if you want to see the code so this is the basic code i have uh written for saving the data into the dynamo db right for deployment you can see this is the yaml file and i have created the api gateway uh, in the yaml file and it will be created automatically at the time of deployment this is a resource.ml right it contains the definition of the uh, dynamo db tables right so this is the serverless apis correct for aws side let me show you this is the aws console and uh, if i go on the lambda side dynamo D first i am going to show you the dynamo db so this is the dynamo db and uh, let me show you the tables so these tables currently there are three tables are available here if you click on the product and if you click on the items then you will see all of the items which is available in the product tables right so this is the product tables correct this is the tracking tables this is the system table system user table right where you will get the details of the user customer right so this is the dynamo db for lambda side if i open the lambda side then you can see all of the lambda functions which we have created right and uh, this is the lambda functions currently these 18 lambda functions are available here that you can see these are all lambda functions currently what we have developed and if you click on it because it has been deployed using the serverless so you will not be able to see the code but code you can see here right all of the code will be available here in the code section right in the api gateway you will be able to see all of the apis which we have developed right. so let me show you the api gateway <coughs> Yeah, this is the apis and you can see the these are the api urls right if you want to see the association just click on it and after that you can see the associations of this lambda function with the lambda function right so this is the lambda function which this api is calling right so this is the api gateway and the dynamo db already I explained you and the lambda functions now i am going to explain you the functionality that what we have implemented right so this is the home page of the project this is the home page 
and the login id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is this once you log inside the system you will get the user report first so this is a very basic application and this whole ui i have developed in angular version 5 right so this is the luggage add from here you can add the luggage so this is the luggage form this submit is disabled because you have not filled the form so this is the validation so if you don't fill the form then submit will be disabled this is the luggage report all of the luggage which you have added will be displayed here even you can view the track the luggage even you can edit it you can edit the details from here you can see this all details are coming from the uh in the modb and through the api gateway and the lambda functions right okay so this is the search you can search uh, it here this is the real time search right and if you want to see the tracking of the tracking of that luggage just click on the view icon and you will be able to see the trackings currently i have not used the production level of uh, google maps that's why it's showing that it's for the development purpose only this is the google map which it's showing right if you want to see the tracking just click on the view google map you will be able to see the details of that uh, location right on the google map correct so this is the luggage report this is the add tracking so there are two level of trackings available here right first one you can add the tracking from here so here you need to enter the rfid rfid means this is the iot based application also this is rfid tags right current suppose if you have a, if you have a device which can track the uh, luggage tracking right and which will be able to send the lat and long of the location then you need to enter this tag right here with the luggage and in add tracking section section you can enter that tag and the google lat and google long longitude and latitude right even if you have the api then this is the api this is the api url <laughs> correct this is a save tracking rfid lat long right so this is the api url where you will get the api url right so i have saved this api url here in the environment section uh, let me show that where is the environment yeah this is the environment section and here you will get the environment this is the api url right so we have implemented a uh, api also for tracking the application so you can see uh, let me show you where it is right this is the and the tracking.yaml this is right so you can migrate this api here right here and you need to enter the rfid tag here lat here and long and after that you can hit that url from your device and that information will be saved into the database correct so there are two ways to track your application you can enter the manually or you can automate it through the api from your device integrating this api in your device right okay so this uh, yeah so this is the api right this is the ad tracking this is a user ad from here you can add the user details right you can add any number of users this is a user report all of the users which you added will be displayed here you can edit it even you can delete it also right so this is the user report this is a logout functionality this is the user report this is a logout functionality once you log out then session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages correct so once you click on the logout then your session will be destroyed right now if you get the project then how you will deploy this application on our aws server right so you can deploy this front-end application on the s3 server and after that you can deploy your api on the aws how then this is the command right this is the command you need to enter first you have to create your aws account and after that i am policy once you create your i am policy then after creating your i am policy you will get two things the first thing you will get the access key and second one is the secret key you need to install the aws cli as i installed here right so this is the aws if you enter the aws then oh sorry uh, i think there is some issue yeah slx aws cli and after that 
you need to configure that secret key and access key in AWS CLI. After that, you need to fire this command. AWS deploy a stage in which stage you want to deploy production or they have anything right and after that in which region you want to deploy us west 2 once you you need to go inside the folder which folder the python folder where you have written the application where your all api is available right so currently if you check here then this is not the serverless application you need to go inside the python serverless api after that you need to run this command once you run this command then the serverless framework will create cloud formation scripts and after that this serverless application will deploy the whole application the api gateway the lambda function and the dynamo db on your aws server right how because you have not entered any of the uh, keys here in the serverless but at the time of configuring that aws cli you will enter your access key and password secret key and this serverless application serverless framework will check that aws cli configurations and according to that it will deploy on your aws account right so it's packaging so you can see this the packaging of service excluding development dependencies all of the development dependency will be removed and after that cloud formation is script to s3 you can check this has been deployed on the s3 uploading our artifacts and this is creating the gif file and total size is 16.58 mb validating template updating stack and after that it's uploading the things and creating all of the resources which you have implemented in your serverless applications right in your api so all of the lambdas will be created all of the you can say uh, api gateway and the uh, uh, dynamo will be created once it's deployed it will sh it will show you all of the endpoint urls right so you can see these all are the endpoint urls right here right you need to copy this endpoint url in your front end application here right in the environment file so you can check it will be inside the environment file here right here you need to put your url right till prod so this is the prod and these all are the apis which you have implemented right so this is the overall application what we have developed inside the aws and as i told you earlier this is a pure cloud-based aws serverless application for luggage tracking right if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements right and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much